Hey guys, Tech Tim here. So I'm going through and I'm configuring all of my miscellaneous ECHO and AliExA devices to connect to my new Wi-Fi network. And I have it almost all solved now, but I'm going through one by one. I initially thought I could go through all of these guys at once and connect them up in a monster video, but that didn't work out. And it's been kind of kludgy, but I think I have it solved now. So for now, for this next one, I think this is the last one actually, is um, we're going to get my uh, Echo Dot fifth gen. So that's this guy here that I have with my lovely Darth Vader head. So I want you to take that out uh, for now to show you guys. And so with Echo Dot fifth gen connected, And basically, when you come into the ALEXA app and you type tap devices at the bottom, if you have a device that needs to connect, it should prompt you with this. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But if you get this prompt, you're golden. But the trick is, oh, and now it just went away. See, it's so crazy. Um, so I'm going to go to devices and it's asking me, okay, so it okay, come back up, which is the same one. Um, so fine, so I don't have to do that. But you don't have to hit the action button. At least that's been my experience so far. So in the past, you'd have to hit that round button on the top to connect. Now it just seems to work with the app and your Wi-Fi network. So that, I'm just going to say continue before it disappears again. <laughs> and connecting device. This should give a little chirp maybe. Yeah, it just did. I don't know if you heard that. And now it should just automatically, it's either going to connect based on a saved network or it's gonna ask me to select the network, which I think is more likely, yeah. And so here we go. So it did not remember that I have Tatooine saved in my Amazon settings as my preferred network. So I'm gonna to have to manually select it, which is fine, And but no action button, no finagling the Wi-Fi settings on, on your, in the settings app on your phone. Everything just happens with the Alexa app in your device. So that's new to me. And I think for a lot of people that have been doing dealing with you for a while, I think that could be super confusing. So. Basically, I'm just going to select Tatooine, and it should connect, and then she'll do go into her little marketing spiel, hopefully. Your Echo is ready. Here we go. So, that's a little bit loud. And now, so Echo Dot is connected, so that's really all that we need to see. And now she'll think for a minute, and then she'll come up with a marketing nice spiel. Work. There you go. She's going to say. I have say, a few top things for you to yeah, try. She's going to want us Echo. to try some things, but Let's get started. we don't need to go into Let's all see. that. So, basically... This device is back online and we're good to go and, you know, completely set up and it's on the same network as some of my other devices, which will come in handy for multi-room music and so forth. And now I can say, oh, oh she's okay. still, she's okay. still going through her spiel, but I'm 100% sure that, th that this is fully connected and back online. So hopefully it helps you. And basically the idea is if you get that message in your, in the, you know, who app, you um, you just want to follow the on-screen prompts to a T. It might ask you to type, press this action button, but if it does, do not, just follow the instructions on screen and you should be good to go. Hope this helps. If it did, if you wouldn't mind, just give me a quick thumbs up. Helps out the video a lot. And uh, please consider subscribing. I do all sorts of tech videos and videos about guess who. <laughs> anyway, hope to see you in the next one. And I think that's it. I think we have them all back online now. I'm fairly sure we do. So yeah, hope to see you in the next video. And uh, I'm gonna go now set up my multi-room music because I finally got all of my echoes on the same network. See you in the next video, bye.